Take a look at some of these fish. Oh yeah, some big ones? Huge. There's a koi right there. Through the flowers and the pergola. Look at this little paradise and there's the waterfall that the guys built. And I could already tell what the guys did. Designed an internal flame that goes on back there. We were in the area, we might as well stop by and see them. Let's see if we can catch them sleeping. Hey! <laughs> I am with Aveline Hauser. Hi there. And this is a really cool yard. I have been here before. Little paradise back here. And I'm Greg Whitstock the Pongai. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock the Pongai. And it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. And today we are traveling the Chicagoland suburbs. Check it out. Beautiful aquascape ecosystem ponds. Check this out. Pretty unique, huh? I love the use of the stack soda. It's beautiful. There's the goldfish. Look at wanting to get fed. This wraparound deck. Beautiful. And all of these awesome oak trees that just come right down to the house. Pretty unique property. And I think our project started with this, but expanded to the back pond. So they have some beautiful stack slate urns. Like you said, you like, I mean, that sound is incredible. A vanishing edge pond going over here with the spillway bowl servicing it. But they had to work inside the constraints of this big deck to put this in. But I love the steps that the guys got coming down here. And this is a shade garden. You can see from the ferns and the hostas and stuff, but Back here, I have no idea what that thing is. That's really cool. Back here, they have an earthen pond that we added a waterfalls to. Now, what would you think that was? That's a really good question. I have no idea what that is, unless they dredged this pond and filled up some sort of a bladder next to it. We're gonna have to oh, find out what that beehives. is. Yeah, tons of beehives over there, which is cool, but I do not know. So we're gonna find out. I'm guessing that it's some sort of expandable bladder and maybe they dredged this pond over here and I've seen people do that and then built that whole area up like that. Right through the flowers and the pergola. Look at this little paradise and there's the waterfall that the guys built a couple years ago. Hey Marsha, you're enjoying a nice warm summer day, huh? <laughs> hey Fred. Take a look at some of these fish. Oh yeah, some big ones? Huge. Are they catfish? Oh yeah. Well, no, it's carp. You have grass eating carp. I'm looking at some carp here. There's a koi right there. Yeah. I like this, koi, big pond, and fish food. So this is for the big pond, huh? Yeah. How many koi are in here? Too coy. So what is that big bladder over there? Did you have your pond dredged? Yeah. You had the pond dredged? Yeah. And then that's what they filled up with it, huh? How many fish are in here? Where'd you get them from? I don't know. There's catfish. The catfish. Yep. Well, years ago we got some from the fishery, 
So we have friends that fish in those ponds you're allowed to fish in and they bring them. How long have you lived here? He's been here since 1970. I bought the place in 1970. Okay, so this property looks as good as me because I was born in 1970. <laughs> I wish I looked as good as your property. <laughs> I love it. You've been enjoying living the aquascape lifestyle. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> And that is why I love my job, when people can say how much they love living the aquascape lifestyle. Well, when you've got six acres, you know, you might as well have a natural pond out there. So what's cool is they dredge the pond, so it's a little bit dirty right now, and they just have the aesthetic waterfalls that was put in by the guys a couple years ago on there. But if you were to filter a pond like this, an earthen pond like this, I'll put a couple links below to how to do it, but you need a wetland filtration system for especially a big earthen pond like this. And over 15, 20 years, it's gonna fill with garbage, and that's why divers came out here, and that's what that thing was all about. So they've got all of the sediment that's just kind of settling in there and then when it dries out and all the muck goes away, they'll actually just put it in the garden and spread, spread it out. All of this is filled with biomass. Oh man, it's hard. There's no water in there at all. So all of this was dredged from there. You can see how big it is. That's a lot of organic breakdowns because all the leaves and debris that falls in there just sinks to the bottom and eventually you gotta pull it up. So when the guys built this, they actually had to dig this whole area out and bring everything down and dig it in and then make sure that you have an overflow to go out so it doesn't flood this entire area. But these are the steps down, right underneath there is the snorkel. So if I lifted this up, I'd have access to the pump vault area, which is right there. They just got it hidden with the fake stone over there. All of the aqua blocks and it just recirculates. And then we have a vanishing edge pond right over here. Just a nice reflecting pool that's in here. What a very nice area to sit and just look back and relax looking at that. So there are the vehicles. Here are the guys. And this is the project. So we we're in the area. We might as well stop by and see them home. Let's see if we can catch them sleeping. <laughs> Do you think uh, the neighbors know what we're doing? Yeah. That's actually pretty accurate. Nobody usually does, but look, Chris does not know I'm here. You don't know I'm here. Hey! <laughs> what are you well, doing? it looks like you're deep in thought, brother. <laughs> you're like, who's coming up behind me? <laughs> Two miles down the road, and I thought, let's go see where the guys are at today. So these are normally the stars: Papa, Jack, Chris, Daniel the stars of Team Aquascape. So check out Team Aquascape. And right now we're gonna actually see this project on Team Aquascape probably in another month or so. Yep. What are you working on right now, buddy? So this is the headwater area where we've got a large sphere, deep stream in through here, twisty turning. We've got some stepping stones going across to some stairs going down to a seating area. This is gonna be that area where it's emptying into the pond, which is coming all the way up and will occupy the entire <laughs> This is quite a project. So excited. 93 degrees out. I didn't bring you guys ice cream today. I brought you ice cream last week. <laughs> it's back in the freezer, right, Daniel? Yeah, yep. <laughs> the one and only. Oh, oh. I'm excited. All right. I like my job. <laughs> Hi. You like it. I thought you love your job. <laughs> so your name is? I'm Chris. Chris. So I was here seeing your beautiful little baby uh, you. last yes. week. Yes, I heard. So where's your daughter? She is sleeping. Okay, that is good. Mike and I go way back. I've known him for probably 15 years. So how much convincing did it take for you to rip up your entire backyard with an 11 month old? <laughs> Not much. And I'll tell you a short story. Okay. So it was either a decision between a pool or a pond. My parents have an in 
around pool and they said it's a pain in the you know what yes and my husband just seeing his pond how tranquil it is it kind of being like your own getaway oasis yes i loved what he did at his old house now i see what you yeah. see in him <laughs> so much more than that but we came up with a couple of really cute ideas like area down here for my niece and obviously my daughter who are really young right now they can play in this more shallow area this is going to be a bigger and deeper koi pond with the waterfall seeing it all come together is just amazing it is it's, fun it's so much fun and so it didn't take too much convincing we have pools to go to yeah but who has this amen sister amen wow all right so you're gonna see this on team aquascape and then maybe i'll come back at the end of the season we are in downtown oswego illinois and we are out traveling around looking at aquascape water features and they said you have to stop by oswego veterans memorial plaza where we are right now so it says it's dedicated in 2002 but i know the guys built something maybe two years ago out here i think that's one of the eternal flames that they were talking about i'm thinking we got to walk down there Civil War, World War One, Korean War, and I don't see a pond. I see a bridge. Right, and here we found it, right on the beautiful Fox River. And I could already tell what the guys did. I could see that designed an internal flame that goes on back there, and then they have the grill in the front of it. But this project I first saw, it's just got a pondless waterfall out here. I first saw this on the Team Aquascape and was unusual with the type of stone with these big limestone slabs, but they just wanted something more formal, kind of the memorial garden, I guess, is what you would call. What's fun about this for me to see this is it's universal. However you put the stones, however you design it, I mean, obviously this is a much, much different look than you would see from the Team Aquascape, but this is what the architect wanted. It's a beautiful formal garden here. You can see all of the names of the people that are being honored, and it's just amazing because it's a really beautiful garden right on the Fox river pretty cool that we got to get involved in this this project i think it's about two years old i first saw it on the team aquascape vlog so my vlog is the lifestyle vlog where i'm really trying to inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyle the team aquascape one goes over the construction and the how to's and i'm super proud of those guys and so when they built this i remember thinking oh that's an unusual project so check out the team aquascape vlogs to see how we build things the lifestyle and of course a memorial garden like this is just pretty powerful but i love Love the fact of how universal our products are and the guys who are designing it because this is obviously off an architectural plan with the the limestone rocks and how they did it but i like it it's a different look it's a pretty cool look it's just something unique that i can showcase on my channel so check out the team aquascape vlogs to see how this thing was actually built